Okay, so we have assembled a simple circuit consisting just of one resistor and we are generating with our wave generator a 1 kilohertz wave which is a sine wave. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our digital multimeter to collect the values and show it the expected results on the oscilloscope. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our multimeter into the DC voltage range and we're going to measure the DC voltage making sure that we are putting the prongs the right way so black to black and uh, red to red. So we're getting the value of uh, 2.08 and we're going to record that. This is our VDC 2.08 volts. The next measurement we're going to take is going to be the AC voltage uh, which again we're due making sure we match the prongs it just makes everything easier in the end and we are getting the measurement of 1.26 volts. This is our VAC. So from now on we don't need the digital multimeter anymore. Uh, by theory actually our VDC is going to be our offset on the a DC offset on the oscilloscope and our VAC actually represents V root mean square by using which we can find the amplitude of this wave which actually gives us the VAC on the oscilloscope so we do this since we know it's a sine wave we do it by the following formula our V peak equals to VRMS uh, times square root of 2. So we calculate it. We do 1.26 times square root of 2 and we get the value of 1.78 volts. So we're all ready. Technically what we should expect on our oscilloscope is something like this. This is our scale this is our DC offset which should be equal to 2.08 volts and our amplitude from the DC offset will be equal to 1.78 volts which is peak to peak measurement uh, sorry just the peak, me peak measurement so we're going to hook up our oscilloscope to the resistor this is our channel 1 and ground. Channel 2 and uh, ground. And uh, we're going to run it. And I screwed it up. I screwed up my channels again. Second, yeah, so here it is. We do the math function of channel one minus channel two, which gives me the voltage drop across resistor, which generates the following wave. And I'm gonna stop it so we can easily see it. So we have each uh, little tick here represents 2 volts because this is what our scale is set as. And as you can see, just like what we calculated from the measurements we took from the digital multimeter that we have our DC offset equals roughly to 2.08 volts, which is here, from this point to this point, and our V peak 
from DC offset to the VP to the peak of the wave is roughly 2 volts. We calculate it as 1.78. So it probably is hard to see on this scale. And uh, that's pretty much summarizes on how to get the how to get the expected results on the oscilloscope from the digital multimeter.